Well, we just got back uh, a little while ago for, uh, from uh, attending our uh, grandson's college graduation. He's the second one in the family to uh, graduate from college, starting his life. And uh, he's, uh, he's in marketing, and i got to wish him the best. And uh, Lord, I lift him up. His name is Patrick Shards. I lift him up to you, Lord, and ask for blessings on his life. Help him along the path. I guess uh, his mother said he's got some little student loans to pay back, and it's a lot of money. So, but I know you'll help him, and uh, he's a good boy, and uh, starting out fresh, so help him uh, guide him on the right paths. And uh, we had a nice meal over there for uh, lunch, and then we went to the graduation. We're back now, and uh, so I thought I'd do a little bit more inspiration before uh, bedtime rolls around here. And let's see what we got for some inspiration. Okay, let's see what we got. Another start. I'm going to all use one of those right now because we, have, we mess up so bad. But uh, these were your words on another start, talking to the two women in 1932. You said, take courage. Do not fear. Start a new life tomorrow. Put the old mistakes away. And start anew. I give you a fresh start. Be not burdened. Be not anxious. If my forgiveness were for the righteous only, and those who had not sinned, where would be its need? So true. Remember, as I said, to whom much is forgiven, the same loveth much. Why do you fret and worry so? I wait to give you all that is lovely, but your lives are soiled with worry and dread. You would crush my treasures. I can only bless glad, thankful hearts. You must be glad and joyful. And I think you said, must be glad and joyful. And so it's when people lose. They, they, uh, they don't quite get it on that path. And uh, we need to be joyful. Because being with you, just, just being with you, uh, it's a very peaceful, restful time. I know I find just in these few minutes that I spent, I think that's my most peaceful time of the day, is just sitting and talking to you. I mean, people can look at it and say, look at this nut. He's talking to, to uh, you know, his uh, electronics, calling to Jesus. Oh, well, Jesus, you're the all. That's what the Bible tells us. You are everything. And uh, so really, living with your spirit there, it's more or less we have to have the faith and believe that you're there. And if we do have that faith and belief, then why not talk to you? Why do we have to wait till we die and then talk to you? I don't think so. I think you want us to talk to you all the way through. Right in, right through death and everything. And then we'll be in that world of yours. You can take us, help us learn what we have to learn there. But you need us to be joyful while we're doing that. And, you know, start a new life tomorrow. So help us start new lives. Help all your children. Again, I lift up my brother Anthony and his wife, and uh, I ask for blessings on them because they work hard for you, boy, and I know you know that. Judy and John, and John's business ventures, and Judy's travels, we ask for guidance, direction, safety, and, and joy on that. And, uh, Judy in my life, we ask for the things we need to correct and straighten up in our life. You know what those are. And we don't even know what all of them are. But you're going to help us with those. And all the children of the world, her, all her family members, my family members, all the children ask for blessings. All right. If I maybe get another one in before tonight, I could sit here and just do inspirations all day and all night. And I would have a good day. <laughs> so, anyway. I will be back maybe tonight, and if not, I'll be there first thing in the morning, because I know you're going to be there first thing in the morning. Have a great day, and thanks for being in my life, Jesus.